Oh, yeah, and right off the bat, starting uh, Ivysaur uh, versus Villager. So, yeah, not too not too surprising from, from my point of view, at least. Uh, What's good? And I see we have uh, another commentator. Looney, how you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm good. I can't hit the game. Yeah, I, I disabled it because it was messing with uh, D-minus' mic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know, you hate to see and, uh, it. It's okay though. Be like that. So we got um plant dog. Yep, we got plant dog versus villager. Uh we got plant ah. dog versus a whole ass man boy. A yeah, homeowner. That's a, oh boy. that's a boy. Yo, no cap. That boy's a homeowner though. Know. Come on, he's far ahead in life than we are. You already know what the best villager all is. I don't know why my son's not using it. Bro. Get out of here. Anyway, uh <laughs> Pokemon starting off with a pretty uh uh, like it was a pretty even kill, uh, even damage, but they were able to take out the kill. Let's see what can happen here. I, I, really, mm, I don't really know who's the play in this matchup, to be honest. Like uh, I would just go Squirtle just so I could push get in there, but Squirtle's buttons are too tiny. Uh, it can be really obnoxious because like when Villager hits you, it would just send Squirtle out so far that he has to like play the obstacle course to get back in. And the other, the nice thing about Ivysaur is that the uh, <gasps> Yo, the, he's... Oh, God, can I even talk about the nice thing that is Ivysaur when that happens? He's... It's... It's just knowing the angle that, uh, you know... Because Ivysaur, when he does that, he always tethers a little bit to the right. I don't know if you could control as the player. But... No, he can't. Yeah, and... Pretty sure. What so... I was going to say was that uh, just Razor Leaf goes through things, which, you know, goes through the tree, it goes through the, the gyroid, which can help kind of diffuse the pressure that Pokemon is putting on, that Villager puts on. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah so, uh, okay. Making those I wonder... balloons the same ID, making it that Nair only takes out one of them. You hate it. Yeah, Pokemon is just, um, you know, setting up his space. It's kind of over. Like, well, not over in the sense that, like, he can't yeah. win, but it's just, like he's getting his game going. Like, he's he's on he's on demon time. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought he was dead. Yeah, there's some pretty poor DI, so. Oh, tried to go for it. This is where we get to see the ledge set up. But, um, I haven't. You know, I know Pokemon one of those players that like leveled up. I haven't played that this, I haven't played this kid forever, but you know he was always a respectable villager. He's kind of getting his name up now because of Wi-Fi, but he was always really good. But he definitely improved. So it's nice to see my son on top of the on top of the world. My man's on the Wi-Fi grind. Wi -Fi. Yeah, on top of the Wi-Fi yeah. world. Oh. Uh, this is very doable. I've sort of an advantage state is like one of the best characters in the yeah. game. So the hard thing is getting that advantage. So let's see what we can do. Yeah. I, he's going. I like that he's going for those dash attacks. Ivy Star's dash attack is one of his only quick moves being frame four. He actually has only two Ooh. frame four moves being down tilt and dash attack. Uh, but both very <laughs> small hitboxes. Ooh. Yeah, he's bringing it back. Look. <gasps> oh, this stage oh gameplay. This character is like. So ex like exceptional, yeah. exceptional advantage, bro. Look it's, at that! Did, like, crazy. like you see the fact that like when he spawned the gyroid and the like doing the gyroid is now a risk because Razor Leaf goes right through it and hits him anyway, and then he's just like, I don't yeah. care. And it's like even if he pockets uh, a Razor Leaf, he's got all of them. Ooh, that two framed! Oh. Wow, that was really good. Damn, he brought it back. How you turn that, bro? Yeah, he he caught him from deep. That thing is does have some really good range. It was a that's a nice use of the down smash. Yeah, and down like smash that usually not... sucks. But yeah, I was just gonna say I feel like that move is usually like regarded as one of the not so good moves on like two kit. frame. I was right. Oh my god. I was just look at that. Timing. There it is. There's the two frame. Oh my. Boom. He he got hit on the second frame. Yeah. Wow. We. Sometimes you just gotta throw them out, bro. Throw them two frames out. Yeah. You never know what you, you know, the. Ugh. Sometimes the. It's usually always worth it to some degree, you know, the risk versus reward. You're not gonna get too hard punished if you miss. He's one of the. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Must have chopped. Must have chopped. 
I such a chin on the news over. I feel like we didn't see no Zard that match. I mean, he's a big boy. He's a yeah. big damage sponge. And it's just the oh, fact yeah. that uh, Ivysaur, like Razor Leaf, does so well versus. And actually, we are seeing the swap. Uh, Pokelam going uh, Isabel. Um, I don't know. Uh, she might do better. She's weird. But I'm going to go tweet those two hype clips real quick so you guys can uh, commentate this match. Yeah. Nice. I don't really think, um, I don't know, I don't really think Isabel, I don't really see any clear advantage that Isabel will have. It might just be a comfort pick, but I don't know. I just feel like the Lords are just a lot easier to avoid just being on the ground. If you're just aware of what's going on, it's a lot easier to avoid. And you could just literally, I'm pretty sure Razor Leaf would just blow it up. Like, if it's on the ground, I could be wrong. Let's see if we're going to test it out. Let's see. No, no, side B. All right. Yeah, yeah, like... yeah, and you guys will just do that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we'll be... Yeah, we'll probably be seeing a villager switch back. I'm gonna be honest. Keep it a buck. I just don't really see much clear things that Isabel has over uh, villager. You know, I feel like villager could take advantage of a few more things. Yeah, especially off stage two, like the cannonball, and then if Ivysaur vine whips, this will be very quick on his feet. So they come back, or else he gets hit by the cannonball. So usually the 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 play is like when a character, when a player makes a comeback like that, you already know they ride in the wave all the way to game to the next game, and you know Quid hasn't lost any of that steam. So I don't I don't know if a character switch is really. Oh my god! He went yeah, out there, dude. Yeah, he, he went out there, bro. You love to see it. I'm really. I, I really don't really see him. Um, even if Razor Leaf goes to like Villy's Lloyd, that is kind of annoying. But I think Villy, I think Village is still pretty much more worth than Isabel is. I know he has like a decent Isabel. Like I've seen it do good. So like I don't think it's a a big character switch either way. Like I feel sure it could be a comfort pick too. But oh, it's over. But Quid is just controlling every scenario way too well. Nice. Fake that. Like, it's so. Characters like Charizard just literally threat when you have your back to the ledge. They just have so many options that literally just you as a Charizard player turning your back to them is just like threatening so much. You know, just say like either it's a back air, it doesn't really take much to just turn around, grab. You know, and I love the fact that he exhausted all his jumps, landed back there, made it look like, oh, he's done. He can't possibly, you know, he's going to have to grab at this point and just jumped again. Like, why not? You know, like. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. And also, like, it, it, it's also, like, the fear of, like, oh, if he doesn't do, like, the back here, if he doesn't do, like, the grab, like, what do I do in this scenario when I'm off stage? And when I'm trying to recover in disadvantage, it's like that in of itself is intimidating. And you add the you add the Charizard pressure on top of that, it like it makes you kind of makes you kind of question your play, and then you get stuck in this devastating scenario that uh that Pokemon was in. This is some characters that are just too you know just too they just people. It's a really you know you could tell the sign of a really great player would just like. If they're aware of just even the positioning, like, oh, my back, or, you know, it was a Zelda player, I got my shield up, or, you know, Charles, I got on my back. And they just know that that and alone could be pressure. It takes some 4D chess, because, you know, some people could just not care. But, you know, when you're at this level of play, you already know that your, your opponent is aware of a lot of things. Even such things as just where your character's facing and what his options are, just from literally turning his back to you. Hmm. It's, it's, it's the big brain plays you love to see. Yeah, so right back to right back to Villager. Kind of knew it was going to happen. My son got sauced a little bit. That game three was kind of over. Mm. But so uh, I'd be, I personally hate this stage. I'm going to keep it a buck. I, I don't know if there's any advantages, but I, I really hate this stage. Yeah. 
Main is, reason why a villager would pick this stage is for the uh, doing the forward smash against the wall since there's no escape. Yeah. Um, eh, pretty sure there's some reason, but yeah, this 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 stage is trash, bro. Nah, <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, I mean, if this game is going a lot better. It kind of sucks that. Nice, dropping the bowling ball on my son on some Tom and Jerry. My son got the lump on his head. Says it's going a lot better. Kind of sucks that he kind of it couldn't just ride this momentum into game two last game. He was doing really well. I, I know Ivy certain advantage is probably scary, so it's like my son got sauced, but you know what happens. It's PT, bro. Oh, and just again going, you know, going out there is really one of the keys to making sure you get villager because. That his recovery is kind of, I feel like it's kind of, you know, not that great. Even recovering from from a low angle, I know you probably wouldn't recover high, but you know, most is gonna recover low, and even then, that's pretty, you know, pretty terrifying with a character who has like a spike that's like, you know, pretty generous in terms of hitbox. With the neutral, uh, he's racking up a lot of damage. Let's see if he's secured it. Oh my god. No fear. I mean, it was kind of the thing to do. Oh. Nice. He really, he, he knew that load was coming. He tried to jump way over it. It's kind of, oh my god. Damn, I feel like, did the tree hit him? I feel like that was uh, something to eat. What was it? Yeah. Did you get him that time? Damn, I feel like that tree hit him from deep, bro. Alright, nice corner pressure. Yeah. Ooh. My son trying to ride the wave. Oh, nice. Ooh, he drifted right in there. He, he probably thought he was going to land. He probably was looking for a tech chase situation. I'm pretty sure if Ivy saw tech that way, he would have got hit by that too. But that works too. We got options being covered. Look at that. Yeah, jumps right into it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that was like a tech situation. It would have, I feel like the tech would have been hype, but that works, that works too. Something definitely not, ex you know, you're not expecting when you. All right, my son just got all the bowling balls this game on. Huh? These, these are some pretty okay that was the tree damn well he looks oh, a lot wow. close. he looked a lot closer than he was now i was kind of bugging <laughs> like not that... i feel like it just hit him mad late that's what it really was but he, yeah, he definitely was on it he... Two, one, i just wasn't used to it but... all right so battlefield yeah this is the this is the stage man i feel like Ivy Swords is so good on oh 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 yeah. Ivy Swords is so good on these stages and platforms because like I feel like I don't know if they necessarily take advantage of the fact, but it's so hard to get off platforms and then you got a scary up air just waiting for you. It just it's just not a fun time, bro. Like, yeah, it, it's just it's just no fun, and you know you just definitely want to use that to your advantage with a character with a ridiculous up air like. Ivy Sword. Hmm. Tries it. Oh, that was forward smash. I thought that was a down smash again. He's. Oh, nice. B reverse on the mix up. To get the landing. Hope Clan definitely gonna be aware of these up airs. Ooh. He, he threw that right back at him. Nice on the up neutral air. But very being, you know, very good at covering his landing with, you know, another aerial, make sure not to just land on the ground. Villagers aerials are kind of weird, but they they work. Oh, he's not dead. I'm surprised. Just great the Apple Poke man. Definitely knows how to deal those moves. Yeah, to get all the way to the left. Yeah. Some right. some people. Oh, toss it. Yeah, it's the forward throw. So taking the first stock quid it's it's um you know just from the villager matches point of view this is the first time quid is 
you know, taking the first blood. So definitely a change of pace in terms of the matches and giving Pokemon something to think about. You know, he's yeah. pretty, even though he lost that first game, this is the first time he's playing the lead. Kind of nice up there. Yeah, caught caught it anyway. Caught the three telips too. Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Oh, that did like thirty percent. Yeah, that's Jesus Christ. That's crazy. My son's playing around the tea, the trees. Nice. That was a good lore. You know, it kind of shields him from in front of him. If Quib grabbed him when he was doing that lore, that would have been the option. But Pokemon knew probably he was gonna. The mix-up is either that or coming with Slingshot. And Quill was probably more thinking about Slingshot. I feel like, you know, the if you put the tree in the way and you do the Lloyds, you, yeah, Rage Leaf goes through it, but you, you kind of open up, you can kind of bait him and throwing it and kind of throwing it right back. So you can kind of use that to your advantage. You know, like, oh, I know this guy's eager to you know do this and do you know do, throw these razor leaves to go through it and i'm seeing pokemon do a good job of oh my god that's unfortunate but i'm seeing pokemon doing a good job of setting up shop and being aware of the all right they're just going blood blow for blow right now being aware of you know what what um ivy so wants to do in that situation so i feel like you know, he's he's just he's very aware of what this character could do and he understands that I feel like the risk isn't that bad just for him to throwing uh Oh my god, we're getting this jab. How much damage can we get? My son boxed him up in the corner. Thirty percent. Yeah, he he boxed him up real quick. He's throwing the body shots like Rocky. Okay, alright. Pokemon nice getting near touch chase. Yeah, Pokemon's getting some steam, man. He hasn't even if you notice he hasn't even been touched for a good minute. He's alright, now he's been but using all right now he's getting some nice solid hits in. Quid definitely has to cut this momentum off. I feel like Pokemon is, you know, in the lead mentally. Oh, nice. Okay, wait. Oh man, that was Ooh, I knew it. He, he did such a good job of um, forcing the low recovery. He, he sniped his jump. I'm assuming he sniped his jump with the slingshot and just. He knew from there on his options were very limited. He could, he would either had to air dodge into the, you know, and I don't know if that would have made it, but he would, yeah, he he would have not made it. He knew he had to to he, tether, and it was his only he option. Probably could have just reeled in sooner. Honestly. He could have, yeah. yeah they, he's down there for a while. Yeah, that is true. He, he did stay down there. Like he he did didn't have to fall. There. In fact, if he had reeled in right there. If he had reeled in at like the full pendulum swing to the left, I think he might have been able to avoid it. Oh, he's in so much pain. Either way, um, it was a good job of just forcing yeah. the scenario to potentially get a kill. So, my son with the big brain plays. Yeah, but Quid going to be running it right back to Battlefield. Uh, kind of understandably so. Man, that looks super technical, but it isn't. He just checked it once, but man. Anyway. Okay. Makes all those crazy little tech noises. You you can't hear, but you know it went. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, they sometimes they be yeah. bugging. Oh out. my god, these forward airs. Yeah, they they nice. been going blow for blow. <gasps> oh my god. Nice. I feel like um he could have got a jab reset right into like some nonsense. I, I mean potentially. Uh, potentially. Uh, yeah. If my man's was like on full crack mode, probably could have just went for flare blitz and just see what happened. In hindsight, I think that might have worked. He definitely, he definitely knew he could do something. That's why he kind of neutral yeah. there. I think he wanted some, uh, some kind of, some. He wanted a Twitter clip, or some kind of stuff for followers. Well, he didn't so, go for the Twitter clip. He wanted to keep it safe. He's just like, mm, I'm gonna hedge yeah. my, I'm gonna hedge my bets. It's just like, okay. Yeah, I'm not done. He, he just, he didn't want to lose. Right. So this is the, we'll see if it's gonna yeah. go. Ah, oh, quid, first time. Putting, Second game, take okay, again. Yeah, taking summoning the gyro is always going to be like a bit of a bit of a commitment. There's actually a lot of uh, cooldowns to summoning that thing, and when you have long reach like Zard Bear or something else, that's pretty good. But he jabbed him, forced him to fall, and was able to land that forward smash to land that kill. 
We want to be very um, these falling platform areas. Where we do. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Perfect. Just putting so much pressure with the, the the villager man. Like people say what they want, but villager he definitely could be somewhat aggressive. I feel like yeah. people just don't play him aggressive. He's really he's a really um interesting character that I like low key like to see most of the time. His strengths and, and, are a little bit slower, or they lend themselves to intuitively play slower, but that doesn't mean he can't speed it up. Yeah, he definitely has the tools to, yeah. you know, be... Like, right now, you know, you get those... He has, like, nice little strings that he does. It's lit. All right, so they're exactly even... Well, not exactly. Nice. I, I wonder if he knew he was going to up to it, just, like, slap him for it with the nets. Ooh, down throw forward air. Nice. That's a really good hard. extension. It wasn't true, yeah. but it's just like I'm, I'm reading your movement. That's what I like to see. That's some neutral right there. Yeah. He's, I feel like um these Lloyds across the stage are getting like, riskier and riskier. He didn't die for that. Oh my god, you're dead. He didn't die for that last Lloyd, but you can see Quid is kind of getting a feel of like when to, you know, snipe these Lloyds out. He's, he's really doing really good, especially towards the edge, you know, where, where it's getting a little risky. But Pokemon close that out poke lane closes out oh, nice oh what oh my god i thought that was really gonna kill him what are we nice tried to get the oh so good he he used the the f2 and just like baited out an action with the quick up out of shield nice he's the we getting the bomb bowler oh man, bomb bowler. yeah are you sure man when he gets the grabs you know the bombos are coming Damn, it's over. <laughs> Thanks, Helper. Yeah, and yeah, hard agree. We're really at 41 Xenos. <laughs> tragic. We're game five last stock. Yeah, yeah, I forgot this game fast. All right. Good luck. Full bias. Let's go quit. Uh, uh, that was. Uh, okay. Hit him. Yeah, that's right. Get the whip um, out. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, God. You got uh, full bias. Let's go winners finals. Um. Yes. Get off stage. Oh my god. Oh. He really tried to snipe him. He's really going out there. You know that's putting some fear in my son's heart. Oh, nice Ooh. landing up there. That's not what I expected. Let's see if he is off stage. It's not he, he's... Ooh. Oh, he's not dead. I really thought he was dead there. Oh my god, it's getting dicey. It's, it's scary hours. Yeah. Okay, Lamb is just being evasive. That's like, it's, should getting, be. it's, it's getting real, real scary. Oh, nice. Switch the charger. You know the grabs are coming. Oh, my God. Nice. Being very patient, which is something, you know, that takes a good... Oh, nice. That could have been the grab right there. Throw it off the mirror. Mm. Nine. Ooh. He just runs up. I'm, I'm, like I said, man, Quid has been getting a really good timing for these lords. And I feel like every time... Like, he almost, he lost the stock every time because he was just throwing out these lords, yeah. almost. I, I think the second stock, he, like, could have lost it, but he didn't. I don't. Th I think he's just, like, maybe not used to, like, having an opponent that has, like, such far reach. Boom! Yeah. Look at that. It's, he looks like he's pooping out the lord. He really called out these lords. He really did a good job calling out these lords. And that's just so much, you know... It's just, like, I, want, I don't want to say why not, because, you know, this event stays so huh. scary, but it's, like... You know, in a sense of like, you know, if that didn't work, he was just going to get hit. He wasn't going to die, but if he made it work, he was, he was going to get the kill. I mean, granted, being a disadvantage stays is always scary, but sometimes you got to just go for balls to the wall. You can't get rich holding on to your last. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, okay. Okay, feel me? I get it. You gotta spend your dollars to get rich. Facts. Right. You gotta spend. You gotta spend it on the right things. You gotta spend the things that's gonna make you that money back. Yeah. Because